Hang on, these are my 10 ultra essentials. Okay, I was like, what's the word again? <laughs> I'm assuming it will just roll and then you'll yeah, cut yeah. it up. Yeah, cool. Hi, my name's Emma Checker and these are my 10 ultra essentials. Okay, so my first one is my 100 game jersey, um, which I received last oh, two seasons ago now when I was playing for Melbourne City. So it was my 100th game in the A-League, um, which I've played for four different clubs. But this one's really special to me because it, um, you know, it's obviously in a league where we play only limited games, takes a long time to get to 100. So it felt like a really big personal milestone. Um, another one of my essentials is Untamed by Glennon Doyle. Um, and the reason that this book is so important to me is because before I moved to play in France, my partner and I both got this same book because it had been recommended to us and we um, are big fans of Glennon Doyle and Abby Wombach. So we bought the book and read it together via Zoom catch-ups while I was living in another country. And before I left, we both wrote a message to each other in the book. And so that was like a way that we spent time together while I was in France. Um, I have always loved reading. I fluctuate and the book has to be good. Uh, another essential is my one of my captain's armbands. And for me, this is a really special one. And it's, it's one that I wore while captaining at Melbourne City, but it to me represents my time captaining Adelaide as well. And I think, when I look at the armband, it um, reflects a big time of personal growth um, as not only as a player, but obviously as a leader and a person. So for me, I've been really grateful for the opportunity to wear the captain's armband, not only at one club, but two, and just the growth that I've experienced in the time that I've been wearing it. Yeah, it was when I played for Adelaide uh, five years ago now, and um, I've honestly never been so nervous for a game in my life because I just felt like Oh, I was representing my home club and I felt like I was wearing my hometown on my sleeve, basically. And it was, yeah, it was a really special moment. Oh, that's a good question. And I should know the answer to that. Um, no, I actually want to think about that. No, because I want to give the honest answer because otherwise someone will be like, well, I've fact checked and that was wrong. <laughs> I had captain junior level teams um, and I mean I, I feel like my position probably helps in terms of being a leader because I see everything and you know it's a position where you are having to control a lot of the game but it's been yeah it's been a big challenge stepping into a role as captain. My next essential is something that New Balance actually put together for me uh, and it's a framed piece that came out with a 997 campaign a little while ago. Um, the reason that I've kept it and it's so important to me is because it has a really special photo in the middle from a campaign that I actually was fortunate enough to go to San Francisco for. And I did a shoot with an incredible group of other female athletes. And so this is just, yeah, it's something that I'll always hold really close to me because I've had some incredible life experiences with New Balance and I have been fortunate enough to go to not only San Fran but also Boston so it's a really special one for me. Yeah so other than the my first trip with New Balance was to Boston and I actually spoke on a, a, a panel with other athletes at the global conference and yeah, it was huge. I, when I think back to it, it was, it was one of the most nerve wracking moments of my life, to be honest, standing up in front of that many big people and, you know, of a brand that means so much to me. And I was seated next to some incredibly high caliber athletes and people. So that was, I think, the first time that I also understood the brand more broadly and I experienced seeing the global headquarters. So from then on, I just felt this real depth of connection to the brand. <laughs> I'm gonna get killed for showing this one on this, but um, one of my partner's youngest son, when I first, well actually this happened, when I was really unwell one day, I was laying in bed sick and he put this next to me and its name is Rough Rough. And he wrote me a handwritten note that said, I hope you get better soon. And ever since every single country I've lived in, 
every A-League away game, I've always had it with me. And so, yeah, he's, I'm definitely gonna be in big trouble if he sees this, but it's something really special to me and it reminds me of home no matter where I am. That's a really good question. I have no idea, but I um, took on the name from him. <laughs> it's the best. He's actually gonna kill me. <laughs> um, the next one is a picture of myself, my dad and my brother um, from my dad's 60th birthday and I, I'm not really big on keeping a lot of things to be honest so I don't have many printed photos and this is one of very few ones I have that actually represents my family back in Adelaide and I unfortunately don't have any other than this so I don't have any with my mum as well but um, this one to me is special because it was at my dad's 60th and it it's very rare that I am together um, because we're you know the rest of my family is back in Adelaide so that's just one that's really special to me and I will always hold this one close. Uh, this one is my cap from when I made my debut with the Matildas and I mean there's no real words to explain how special this one truly is. Um, it's, I made my debut in, like it says, November 2012 um, in China against Hong Kong. And it's, yeah, it's crazy how much time has passed. Obviously, well, it's almost 10 years now, but this is just something that I will ho hold close to me forever. And I hope that I have many more caps left in me, but obviously this one will always be the standout being my debut. Uh, this one is a picture of myself and Bubs, or Melissa Barbieri, and she's my rock. I, oh, there's, I don't even know where to start with her. She's been an idol, a mentor, a best friend, everything under the sun to me. And I've been so fortunate to be in many teams with her, but obviously most recently um, at Melbourne City and backpedalling she was you know part of the Matildas when I first got brought in and from even though we weren't as close back then for the last at least five years she's been my rock and she's taught me so much and I just can't I can't thank her enough. Um, my next one, uh, well my next two I'm wearing, one is, make sure I put the right necklace, is this one and it was a gift from my partner and the stones on it, um, one represents my birthstone and the other one represents the stone of the month that we were first together. So yeah, it was a really special gift because I'm not, I'm not overly sentimental in terms of keeping a lot of things, but especially since I've been moving around, that's been something that I feel like it holds, keeps me connected to home with her as well. And my last one, obviously my ring. Um, the bottom one is my engagement ring and that one is just my most valued possession out of anything I own and I feel, yeah, I feel so grateful that I'm able to spend my life with someone as incredible as my partner Mandy. What's that? Well, I'm born in March and I don't actually know the name of the stone, but it's <laughs> unbelievable. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and being part of me sharing my 10 ultra essentials.